Ohio coach Bear Davis with us now here in our postgame after Ohio's 17-16 win on the goal by Stanwick with less than 90 seconds to go. How you doing, coach? I'm doing great. <laughs> I'm doing great, guys. I mean, I feel like I just ran a couple miles, but other than that, it's all good. Yeah, the first thing Greg said after he picked himself up off the, the bleachers up here when that was all over was yeah. – Take a breath. I yeah, mean, that's, right? uh, those last uh, – take, take us through that last minute and what, what was going through your mind. Well, Todd, it, I tell you what, man, this team has just shown uh, so much character this year. And, you know, we've had a couple one-goal losses here. And I think uh, you never – you know, I, I'm not a firm believer that you learn a ton in a loss, but you, you do figure out some things like about the grind. And the season is a grind. And uh, – I'm just so proud of these guys tonight because they know that you know we had to find those inches you know to uh, you know get this game and and uh, they just, the defense stepped up. We weren't running, winning faceoffs tonight, you know. It's just one of those nights, and uh, and so we had to find other ways to get possessions and, and score goals. Coach, let's go back to just over a minute to play. Boston calls a timeout. You come out with the lockoff, Brian Karolunas on the ball. I got to say that was a gutsy call that paid off. What was going through your head at that moment? Greg, you know, BK all year has just been clutch in those kind of situations. I mean, I, I don't know a whole lot of people even, I mean, I, I honestly, I hate, I wanted him on our team because I hated coaching against him. You know, I just felt like that that was the strength of his. And uh, we just have a lot of faith in him in, in that scenario. And, and uh, you know, Coach Mariano dialed, dialed that up and, you know, went with it. It's a good call got Rochester at home next week what are you going to do this week you've obviously seen them a couple times this season does anything change game plan wise obviously don't share too much here <laughs> but what are you what are you doing to prepare for this week well yeah Rochester is a great team we've had two great battles with them uh, much respect to them they, they uh, you know I think last time we played them you know Greg Greg had a, a pretty serious fever going on and, and we just had a hard time finding the flow in the face-offs and Obviously tonight that was one of those scenarios. So hopefully we're learning as we go through those things. I, I don't know if we're going to change a whole lot. I, I think at this time everyone is who they are, you know, and, and we have to uh, just dial it up and be ready to roll. Fair. In a game like this where there's 33 points scored, uh, back and forth action, uh, all the, the ties and lead changes, at what point was it no longer game plan? It was just go out and make plays. I mean, I, you know, I, I think our guys improvise. You know, they do a pretty good job of that anyway. So, I, you know, we, we just try to manage, you know, some, some scenarios and let them know uh, what, what we're trying to accomplish. But they're all pretty high IQ guys. And, uh, you know, it's been, you know, like I said, they're, they're, they're smart. They, they understand what – at this time of the year, 14th game, if we don't know what we're doing, then we don't deserve to win. Well, congratulations. Unbelievable win tonight. You get the home playoff game next week, and uh, best of luck. Yeah, thanks, guys. Uh, appreciate all you've done all year, and also uh, great fans. I want to say thank you to them and, and my family as well. All right, Bear, thank you. All right, thanks, guys.